A penalty just after the after the half hour from striker Ayu was enough for Ghana to record its first win in the opening Group D game against Uganda. An injury to the left back, Baba Rahman, soared the mood slightly and left shock fans fretting. And he came up just after 39 minutes and was replaced by Frank Achenbong. Ayu converted the spot kick after Isaac Isindi fouled stars. Captain Asamo Gyan in the area. But Ghana failed to find a second goal, which would have eased worries of a Uganda leveler after a series of surprise results so far in Gabon. In the other game of Group D, Mali and Egypt played a goalless draw. Actions resumed today in Group E, where Gabon will be taking on Burkina Faso and Cameroon will host Guinea Bissau. Novak Djokovic and Serena Williams launched the Australian Open campaigns in style on Tuesday as Ivo Kalovic smashed a record 75 aces in an unprecedented 84-game marathon. Djokovic and Williams have both dropped to number two and faced awkward opposition, but they won in straight sets against Fernando Verasco and Belinda Benkic, respectively. Rafael Nadal also rolled into round two before Kalovic outlasted Horacio Zabalos in an epic the stretch for 5 hours 15 minutes and ended 6 7 3 6 7 5 6 2 22 20. Kalovic beat Thomas Johansson's Australian Open record of 51 aces in a match set in 2005 and 84 games was a new mark for the tournament in the tiebreak area. Era edging the 83 in Andy Roddick's 2003 defeat of Jones L. Avnall. It was one of the longest matches in the tournament's history in terms of time, although still short of the 5 hours 53 minutes played by Djokovic and Nadal in the 2012 men's final. As the drama played out in court 19, Djokovic gave further evidence of his return to form as he convincingly saw off Verasco 6-1, 7-6, 6-2, and on road Lava Arena. It was Djokovic's 15th straight win at the Australian Open as his sixth third straight title and his seventh overall, which would break Roy Emerson's record set in the 1960s.